It was before this annual meeting of the Association of the United States Army, which today heard an authorized speech from Army Chief of Staff General Edward Meyer, that the top military man on the White House National Security Council staff, Major General Robert Schweitzer, yesterday delivered his pessimistic view of Soviet strength and what he called a drift toward war. Schweitzer's boss, White House National Security Advisor Richard Allen, learning that the Washington Post was publishing the story, quickly fired the general, transferring him back to the Pentagon. He had broken the rule, requiring that all speeches be cleared, explained Allen. But other presidential aides said it wasn't the rule that mattered, it was Schweitzer's views, which were not those of the administration. <laughs> President Reagan was asked directly if he agreed that the two superpowers were drifting toward war. No, I think, let me sum it up this way, I think this country uh, could have been on a road that could, might be described that way when we were unilaterally disarming and letting the margin of safety uh, disappear. Administration officials from the president on down have been using hardline rhetoric against the Soviets all year long, and General Schweitzer's was different only in degree, which leads some observers to wonder whether the general's sin was in what he said or in the fact that he got caught saying it publicly. Sam Donaldson, ABC News, the White House.